All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Mist Hunter. It's a Hexen-styled first-person shooter roguelike. Honestly, I guess I would say it's closest to Ziggurat if we're going to be talking about more recent new games along the way. Anyway, uh, so it's I believe it's still in early access. There, there are going to be bugs. Yep, active development, bugs, glitches, placeholders, certain features may change. And there's that. There's, they also have a Discord. I will specifically be posting a link to their Discord in the description below. So that if you do want to get involved and you want, do want to help out on the... Um, huh. Uh, help out on like the development of this game. Then you're more than welcome to. And I'm sure, I'm sure they'd love the interaction. So, what do we have here? We've got modes. I'm not used to these. So the next of... Juka Zoo is a te treacherous megastructure of tangled, entangled, ever-changing realities. The Tower of Dreams. Many hunters have lost their lives. Okay. And summoning is... Ah. Oh! The summoning is a... It's probably a time trial kind of thing. We're going to do the Nexus. Hi! This is a lot of stuff to get into. Okay, so we've got throwing cards. Oh! Am I a... No, I'm not a Skeleton. I just have... Thin-ass wrists. Ego's camera, Vega's tool, or that's in development. Max weapon power is seven. Uh, hi. There's a lot more to this than I thought. Gauntlet of Fury, Gamma Scythe, Wicked Heart. Let's start with the uh, the wild card. Okay, fast throw, secondary fire, rapid three cards, miss damage two hundred. This is a lot to get through, but we're gonna we're gonna go Gambit here. Finish nine levels of Nexus and defeat three apostles of... I... Hi. Okay, sure. Uh, there's also difficulty modes. This is just a lot to dive into. I almost wish for the first time uh, they just gave you a default loadout and said go. That sort of thing is kind of fun. Woo. Oh, no. Well, this is a condrummel. I guess I'll just deal with it. Okay. Okay, so I've actually been having this issue in a couple of other games, and I'm not really sure why this has been happening. But I guess I gotta just play the game in, uh, I don't know what that is, probably health pack? I guess I gotta just play this game in windowed mode, because what is this? Trophy. Any jump increases damage if Pharaoh missed by 10%. Okay, I don't even know what Pharaoh missed is, but it'll be fine. Uh, looks like I've got something else up here. Woo, those sound effects are kinda loud. Let's turn those down a bit. Yeah, no, gotta play this in, uh, gotta play this in windowed mode. And we've got a cheeseburger. Ow? Wait, I took damage? Oh. Oh! There's, like, actually evil jellyfish-type horrors that spawn in there. I didn't, I didn't even notice that, well, I didn't, I don't know. I had no idea. I don't know. Everything is changing. The music goes from very quiet to very, very loud. Uh, what is that? Oh, the explosive barrel. I'm just breaking everything because it clearly actually seems to be worth it. Oh, my burger! Okay, we're burgered up. We're good to go. Everything everything feels good. I'm immediately reminded that I should probably play City of Brass at some point because that's actually... Oh. Oh. Oh! So I actually start with all of these weapons earlier. There's one for every damage type. They just have different ammo varieties. So I can't just go around shooting pell-mell with one singular weapon. That actually makes perfect sense. Okay, I'm just going to bail. But I'm dead. You dead. Wow, I died fast. Hi, sure. Uh, learning. Learning is hard. Learning is fun. Uh, this is... I don't play a whole lot of games that are like Hexen, so it's going to take a little bit of just getting used to. So, I'm not going to screw around with barrels and boxes this time around. We're just we're just going to head for it. Okay, this is a better arena for me. Fight or die. 
I'm very slow. Music is damn good, though. I'm gonna have to adjust things. Okay, where... Oh! We even have little indicators for where the enemies are going to be. That's appreciated. Okay. Probably rely on basic attacks here. I was trying to hit that guy with the explosives, but it wasn't working. Okay. I don't know what half the containers are used for, but that's okay. Alright, green works. Everything is explosive. These things disappear maybe a little bit too quickly for my tastes. Eat Chirati. I did not realize this is going to be a rapid fire. Hey, double jump. I had no idea this was going to be a rapid fire jar of piss, but so it is. Ow. You. Holy crap, enemies hurt. Okay, back to the cards. There we go. Alright, I'm level 2. I'm still injured. Okay, level up. What do we get? Increases pickup range for all missed ammo types. Grow to tonic, Oda's burger, three meters. Increase the damage of all missed damage types. Or crit chance on frozen enemies increases. Let's go with index finger for the time being. All right, so I took some harm there, and we still have an en a enemy in the immediate area. I like the leveling system. That's good. Reminds me of. Well. Okay, got the burger. Last long in this case. The one problem is this guy is fairly accurate and does a shit ton of damage. Whoop. Okay. Uh, let's see. What weapon have I have I not used yet? This one. Seems pretty punchy. Let's just avoid him. I ducked. And I'm dead. There's not a whole lot of feedback on taking damage. I'm noticing the enemies hit like trucks. Okay, I gotta turn this music down. It goes from zero to blasting very quickly. Okay, let's try this again. I'm liking where this is going. I Oh, I have a dodge. I should utilize that. So it looks like the pink meter comes back, but I only have about 40 shots before it runs out. I don't know what these are. Whoop! Okay. There we go. Not so bad. A lot more ammo management than I was assuming. That's not necessarily a bad thing. So where's, where's this enemy? says they're there. Oh, they're probably up above. Okay. We can do this. I... I like this song, actually. Yeah. Okay. Right. I can probably do air dashes. Yep, I can do air dashes. Alright. Face the night. What if I don't want to? What if the, What if this is already stressing me out? What if I just want to face the midday... midday afternoon... uh... brunch? That didn't make any sense, but that's okay. Whoop. Okay, so those those grenades are kind of punchy. I got to utilize explosives a lot more than I have been. I don't know what that was that just dropped, but I got it. I'm doing better. More dodging. Out. Leave the burgers. Okay. Explode him. Memory prism. I'm liking that UI for the uh, left-click, right-click situation. Okay, stay away from that. I'm just going to go back to this. That seems to do a little bit more damage. All right, we've leveled up, but bad time for it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go for the chargers. I'm at ha half health. 
just a bit concerning. Yeah, this sucker is... Don't mess me around. I'm not... I really am not sure how I took damage there. Okay, chance to regenerate 10% of armor by picking up Pharaoh Mist. HP is higher than 90%, all base damage increases, or... Extra Pharaoh Mist. Let's do, uh, chance to regenerate 10% armor. Oh, armor's the, uh, armor's the green meter. Okay, gotcha. Now let's grab burgers. So it looks like this is going to be one of those games where everything is stupidly dangerous, but you do get enough resources kind of constantly to stay at tip-top shape as long as you... Hmm. This looks like that door is supposed to open. I'm going to Hail Mary a jar of Jurati into it, and the answer is no. I think it's Jurati. It's been a very long time since I've played... TF2. There he is. Okay, so the... No? There's still supposed to be somebody over there. I'm gonna operate under the assumption of... Nah. Okay, let's just... I'm gonna just sharpshooter cards into this guy for a little while. Alright, that's resources. Admittedly, resources that I have no use for. I should probably switch back to the shotgun. Okay. Suckers are kind of hurty. Okay, max armor by 20%, crit damage on stunned enemies, crit damage by 50%. Max armor might not be a bad idea. Survivability seems to be my biggest, biggest issue right now. Okay, that's dead. A lot of verticality here. Not necessarily easy to reach, though. I was really hoping that would just blast right through. Okay. Kind of blasted through. Did the burger disappear? No, actually, this this stuff stuck around. I was under the impression that it would all go away. I thought thought stuff would, but I guess not. Okay, it does look like there's kind of reasons to go back up here. Damn it! No coyote jumping. Okay. Well, that'd be a video that I should do. Wow. I, like, go off that and immediately just, like, eat shit off the edge. Hmm. I'm not convinced this is worth it. So, I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Okay, those are some nice crits. Uh, let's switch to this. This is probably my favorite weapon. I don't know what it's doing. It... Oh, I completely missed the fact that that thing even existed. Uh, let's grab a little bit of armor. I don't really know if it's worth going out of my way to break these things. Maybe they give you XP, but hard to say. Okay, they give one singular EXP. So, yeah, let's, let's give them a hard pass. And... Hi? Oh, that was the end of it. Okay, so I didn't find two secrets, which probably had the power-ups in it. That's going to be... I don't know about secrets as much. It's That's an issue for me uh, in these games. Now that I know I'm supposed to be looking for them, I will. Ow. That didn't work. That definitely didn't work. Just eliminate him. Okay, we've still got this guy here. There we go. I think that's actually their health bar. And there's absolutely a combo meter. That you should kind of keep in keep in mind here. I'm not going to be very good at it. But yeah, if you're fast enough, you could potentially just combo your way through, like, everything. I'm assuming it gives boatloads of extra points. There is just green business all over the place here.
Okay, power up, level up. Enemy HP gets reduced by 20%. HP is also reduced. All points reduced by 50%. No. Miss damage by 25%. Um, let's grab Apium, miss damage. Which I'm pretty sure... I'm actually not sure which weapon type is missed. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ow. Okay, still not getting insta-gibbed nearly as hard as we were earlier. I gotta watch the environment. Because I can't just circle strafe backwards in the way that I used to be. Okay, so what is this? Find the right key to break this spell. Okay. I'm also just trying to figure out what might or might not qualify as a secret. Okay, there's a trophy. Was that a... Does that count? It might. I don't see anything else around here, so I'm going to operate it under the assumption that that was... That was about it. I'm just gonna shotgun these things so it goes a bit faster. Okay, couple of different regions to go through. Hmm. I'm pretty injured. I'm not sure if I want to deal with that yet. What? Oh. I apparently died. Yeah, the... This has got some really good... Like, this is a really good base, but I, f I need that feedback or something. Hello. Because I think without it, I'm just constantly in this position of just like, I I died? O okay. And then just kind of rinse repeat. Alright, so I want to keep an eye out for anything that looks secrety and interesting. Unfortunately, I don't know. It's going to be kind of nebulous along the way here. Whoops. Ow. Enemies freaking hurt. There we go. Yeah, this gun's pretty good. What the? Okay. Freezer power up. Liquid. I have no idea what a freezer power up is. Does that mean I do ice damage now? I actually have no idea. Alright, whatever. Let's grab this burger. We know we can get up there now. Okay, chest open. Chest had goodies. But nothing specific. Nothing over here. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for weird locations along the way. Because some of these have bound to be... No, that's that's no secret. Yeah, some of these have got to be like interesting locations that I can get my butt into. I don't know if... It's just a void? Probably switch to this one. This sucker is tough. And then it explodes, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, a lot of memory prisons. Oh. Okay, so that died. Hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Wait. I, okay, I can get up here. I feel like this needs a wall kick or more like movement-related power-ups. I'm sure we'll find them as we go along, but still. Alright, so this is, this is the exit, which we don't want to do yet. There's a whole bunch of places that we haven't even been to. Oh, I might have been able to bridge that gap with the dash. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Whoop. Every time. Every time I just walk right into those guys. And also the poison. Okay, so we've got at least two more zones that I haven't been in. I don't think I'm really going to find what I'm looking for in any of these boxes. These boxes are mean. It's it's like somebody was playing Breath of the Wild and it was like, 
You know what would be a great mechanic for our own game? Making it so all... All boxes and... Uh, all boxes and crates and whatnot. And urns and pots. Like, all of it is trapped. Give Link some legit PTSD out of this. Ah, I shouldn't make light of that. Ah! Even the doors! It's like Casper the anti-vandalism ghost. Okay, so I'm just going to avoid him for a second. Grab some of these things. That guy's an issue. I want to take this sucker out. There we go. Okay, good time for a level up. Amounts of points from each kill by 50%. Weapon crit chance by 100%. I'm going to get the card shoe trinket. I have no idea if score has anything to do with levels. But I'd certainly hope so. Why does that always shoot in... Groups of three. Confusing. Okay, whoop. I really want to kill that creature. But I should probably run and also never stare directly at one creature at a time. Okay, we've got a we've got a burger over here. I gotta go for that more than anything else. Kill him. Grab a little bit of ammo. Anything over here? No. Okay, he didn't die. It's not immediately. Well, holy crap! That's a tough bastard. Let's grab these things. Health is looking good. Enemies are here. Uh, doubles the pickup radius. First jump increases damage of Pharaoh Mist, or weapon crit damage by 100%. Okay, got to avoid. Okay. Got him dead. We've got the little blah 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 guys coming after me. Plus a lot of unfriendly ghosts. And I got a couple of them. There we go. I don't know why I use that specifically. Don't mess me around. Uh. Alright, is that it? I think that's actually it for this area. Alright. Yeah, I like the leveling system. And the fact that you can find perks out in the world as well. I don't know. I... I like, I like progression systems in games, and I like when they're kind of mixed, so there's more than one. Oh, the freezer tool is an actually usable item. I don't think that really really occurred to me until now. Okay, there we go. I need to fix my mouse at some point. Every once in a while, it just kind of loses power. I'm assuming it has something to do with my USB hub. Can I break these? Those seem very much unbreakable. Very much unbreakable. Okay. Anything else? No. Well, we had at least one or two more locations that we haven't been in. Yeah, I was kind of assuming these were these were little dud entrances. But there's still one more area that I haven't been to yet. Yeah, let's do shotgun just in case the uh the weird jelly monsters come after me. I think I killed one there. Why is everything full of stank and sadness? So I still haven't found any secrets. By the way, uh, I hesitate to ask this because this is a can of worms that I almost always regret. But if you guys see any secrets, link the the time in the video where like I passed a secret so I can figure out exactly where it is. And try and be very descriptive on, like, where I'd missed the thing. Because I'd actually very much like to 
find secrets here and, and go into all of them. And it seems like each and every one of these rooms is hand designed. So presumably once we find all the secrets, we might actually be able to just find them 100%. That's one thing I really liked about Tower of Guns, which I'm kind of going to be comparing this to a lot. Because like Tower of Guns had very set secrets in each level chunk. And so once you once you memorized where all of them were, you were golden. You just you just knew where they were. And there was just I don't know, there was something amazing about that. I'm getting really nostalgic. It's just about the end of the decade. No, I don't think I'm getting through that. I, was, I saw that gap up there, and I'm like, well, I don't think there's a... I don't think that's a secret, but I can get up there. Same thing kind of with this area. I know I found a trophy the other way around. Ow, why? Why would I do these things to myself? I'm not seeing any other secrety anythings over there. Unless it's supposed to be like a blastable wall or something. No, that didn't work. Nah, I don't think that's going to work either. And it doesn't look like it can dash upwards. Dashes are entirely horizontal. Well, I'm wasting my time on this level, so we're just we're just going to get out of here. So, missed three secrets and one power-up. <sighs> yeah, I, I like the level-up system. I do wish the secrets were slightly, slightly less prevalent as in terms of, like, character progression. If only because, uh... This means you have to find all the secrets to actually, like, have a good run. I think they can work, but I think it can be rough. Uh, Tower of Guns definitely had a lot of its power-ups hidden behind secrets, but not all of them. Uh, I want to say Ziggurat, the other and more true Hexen-like that I can think of. Whoops. Ow. Uh, Ziggurat specifically had, I want to say it was one to two secrets a level, and was very clear about them being as such. And they were generally like a, a busted looking wall, so it wasn't very hard to, it, it was pretty hard to miss that sort of thing. Because I know how to get up here at this point, assuming I don't infin infiniflub it. I am it. Infinite flubbing it. Okay. Chess opened. Chess has goodens. A pickup trophy. Crit chance by 2.5%. Two, 2 with a default 20% crit damage. Not stackable. Ooh. Hey, these trophies are stupid good. What is this thing? It feels like it's supposed to match up with this. But if it does, I'm not getting it. Yeah, right key to break the spell. I was assuming that that's what that was, but I guess not. Alright, whatever. And if it is, we'll figure it out later. It's... I mean, it's one of those that, like... This is a game that you learn by doing. Or I will learn by doing. And it's just gonna take a little while. That's just normal. Oh. Well, this is very much the key we're looking for. Okay, level up, good time. Kill increases damage by 10%, stacks uh, last for a little while. Extra Juji Mist, and increases Mist damage. Okay, this sucker needs to die, we get another Memory Prism. Not entirely clear on what memory prisms are about, but that's okay. So shotgun lo looks to be kind of my best, best mojo here. I should bail. Yeah, I say it's my best mojo, but then I immediately just get holy crap! That guy was just. I underestimated him. I underestimated him hard. I'm underestimating this game a little bit. I, 
I feel constrained to the ground, and I think that's actually uh, going to be something that I'm going to struggle with for a while, is that, uh, how, would I, how would I put it? My, my first first-person shooter roguelike that I ever played was Tower of Guns, and it was amazing. Like, I really liked Tower of Guns. And that was such a floaty, kind of slow, almost graceful game 90% of the time. And this is very much like a constraint to the ground, and I have to use that dodge more. That's that's a given. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just going to take getting used to. But I am getting used to it, and I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Boy, that's a dumb <laughs> hairdo. I don't know. Anyway, oh, hey, you can actually look at the map. Oh, my God. I just realized there's nine levels, and I can't make it past two. I... I might say uh, it does seem like there's maybe a bit of a let's let's like set it to the menu, uh, menu a bit. It does feel like the enemies hit like trucks. Ooh, sixty memory prisms and code. Never mind. Problem solved. I was I was gonna bring this up actually. I was like the enemies hit really really hard, and that's actually kind of an issue. This probably will solve that problem. This is one hell of a skill tree. I mean, it mostly seems to be small, small um, stat bonuses, but that's okay. So this catapulted from Ziggurat, which is still very, very good, uh, to Immortal Redneck levels of interesting. I'm excited for that. Uh, let's see. So increases starting HP, Pharaoh's defense. Yeah. So it looks like some of these. Each new level increases max HP by one. Reduces self-inflicted damage by 10%. Drop chance of HP pickups. Pool of Pharaoh Mist. Mist pickups contain 5% more mist. Looks like this is pretty expensive. Like, they really want you to grind a lot to get some of these things. And yeah, a lot of these are just small statistical bonuses. Ooh. Start the game with a powerful relic. Yeah, starting armor by 5%. That's probably max, too. Significant health boost, powerful relic, powerful relic, additional jumps. So I think I'm going to want to go down the combo master tree, if only because the extra mobility is probably going to be the most useful thing. Chance of dropping one additional hunter's skill, skull from breakable objects. Hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to go down this tree. Oh, that's going to take a while. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Well... I guess we'll do Totem's Duration. Nah, let's save for this, because I really... Oh, holy crap. I was like, okay, we want to go down this tree, and then I noticed 1,000 memory prisms, 2,000 memory prisms. How much do they expect me to play this game? Hopefully we get more memory prisms the later on we go in these runs. Maybe. I'll definitely get better at it, but for now... I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of Mist Hunter. So if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. Uh, if you want to get involved and help out the devs, they have a Discord, and the game itself will be out on December 5th. I don't know how much it's going to cost. My bet is 15 to 20 bucks. That's the usual kind of default price point for these things. And I'd say probably worth it if you've been starved for first-person shooter roguelikes or hexen likes. Ah. Uh, over the past couple of years, because honestly, yeah, there aren't that many of them. I've kind of listed off all the good ones that I know of. There's probably some more. There are, absolutely are some more, but those are the ones that I liked and should probably go back and play at some point because they were they were actually pretty good. Uh, but I guess for now, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.